Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video on Salesforce Bold. Guys, in this video, I'll show you how you can do the relationships queries in GraphQL. So objects can have child to parent and parent to child relationships, right? Like from contact, you can retrieve the account's parent ID and while querying accounts, you can query all the related contacts as well. But how you can do the same thing using GraphQL? So in this video, I'll show you how you can do child to parent and parent to child relationships queries in GraphQL. So let's start today's video, guys. I'm Kapil, your host, and you're watching Salesforce Bold. Let's start today's video. So guys, for, for this video, I will be using one of my previous example, which is wired with GraphQL. So basically in this example, I was just retrieving list of records and this could be a perfect example to use for this child and parent and parent to child relationship instead of building something from scratch and holding you on this video guys. So first, as a first step, you can simply, if you're following my videos, then you must be having this component. If not, you can simply go to salesforcepool.com and with GraphQL, the first video, I think, uh, yeah, this is the one. So here in this video, mm -mm -mm, yeah, this is the first component you see here. This is the component I'll be using. So if you want, you can also use the same component, okay? Now, let me show you the change in it, what change we are going to do. So this is my code here. The component name is GraphQL accounts because I was displaying list of accounts here, right? Now guys, in this video, I'll show you how you can have child to parent and uh, the same way parent to child relationships. So when I'm talking about child to parent, so it can be you are querying contacts and uh, while querying contacts, you are calling account data, right? Which is basically parent of it. So first, We'll modify the query a little bit. Mm, query name, let's change it to get contacts. Okay. Here I will change it to contact. Here also we need to change contact. Okay. So here basically we are retrieving a co contact ID and name, right? Now, what you can do is, um, for example, let's say you need to check for a specific contact or you need to get only those contacts where maybe account type is something, right? So first, let's check the all ones and open contact records. <coughs> Let me open accounts as well in a separate tab. Okay, so these are contacts and uh, this is a list of accounts. Let me try to find a field which we can refer as a where clause. So if I'll go here in detail, we can do it based on the annual revenue or maybe rating. I think rating should be fine. Do we have rating for other accounts as well? Okay, no, it is not there for all the accounts. So basically what we'll do, we'll try to fetch the data based on the ratings only. So now if I will save this existing query first, okay. And here also we need to change why with GraphQL, this is fine, this is fine. Here it is. So here we'll do like contact or let's not get bothered about the UI. I will show it to you uh, here instead, like as a query result, how it is going to be. So if I will just, if I'll just print this, this dot result, this should be fine. Okay. So let's deploy it. Okay. It is deployed now. 
this is my component here it is this one wired with craft fuel now if i refresh it and open the lock okay i need to do json dot stringify sorry my bad so i'll quickly do json dot stringify and here i'll add a closing bracket deploy Yeah, now it should give me the result. Okay, here it is. It is returning the data test contact one, test contact two, till test contact test contact five. I think if I can copy it here and uh, paste it here. Oh, that's just a second. Let me query. Okay. Yeah, so this is the return response from that GraphQL query. Basically, we are getting list of contact, right? Pretty simple. Now we will add a filter based on the parent. Okay, so for that, what we can do is <coughs> so here, let me so here we can add a where clause. So I will do where now account. Okay, now in account, uh, we need to check rating, right? Account rating, we'll use parameter equals to and the value was hot, right? So first basis, second basis, third basis, rounded brackets, okay. So now basically this should return me uh, all the contacts where account rating is uh, hot. Okay. So this was the result of the first query. So I'll make it like this. Result one list of five contacts. Now result two list of contacts where account rating is hot okay now that is going to be the second result of it now if i'll go here and refresh it so basically i think one account was hot having that rating as to my understanding okay so hmm, here it is here's the data and if i'll paste it here test contact 5 test contact 3 test contact 4 and there are some other contacts as well like some previously created contacts basically so guys this will give you the same return what you will be getting by um, select id name account dot rating from sorry contact where account dot rating equals to so this will give you the same result what you'll be getting using this query so that's how you can do the child to parent stuff right whenever you need to refer a parent uh, data in your child graph well you can do it simply the same way you can also refer accounts parent id so basically self lookup thing uh, using the same way you can do that okay so this was the first example of uh, parent to child sorry child parent thing okay now i'll show you uh, parent to child let me name a child to parent i'll post these uh, queries on my blog as well child to parent okay <coughs> Now parent to child and parent to child i'll show you how you can get the how you can fetch the related data while querying the parent record so we'll we'll take the very basic example where we will be retrieving all the accounts sorry not all the accounts we'll be retrieving accounts with its related contacts okay so for that first we need to revert it back the query we need to get it back to the previous stage 
So previous stage of this query, we can get it from this block, actually. Yeah. We can get it from here, but uh, I think I, I'll need this code. So I'll just copy it from here and paste it here because I need to have the same code on my code snipped uh, on my block as well, right? So now um, what we'll do, we'll just copy this thing from here because the previous code was working in account actually. Then we changed it to contact and paste it here. So we are back with accounts only, right? Now if I will upload it quickly, okay. Now as the next example, as I said, I'll show you how you can get list uh, list of accounts with list of contacts, right? So basically what we can do here is, we are getting account ID and uh, we are getting account name as well, account name and ID here, right? So this is name, value, okay. <clears throat> now here I can add contacts as well. So I'll do contacts in the plural, okay. Now on contacts, again, I need to take the same node like heads and the node. Okay, then I can use the value from contact because I'm having contact, I'm having proper edges and nodes as well. Now I can use, for example, last name and uh, same way, I just need value of it, right? Now this should basically return me, select ID name, uh, then in a query, like select last name from contact, uh, from account without any weird clause, right? So I'll save it, push it, and let's see how the result is going to be. Okay, it was deployed successfully, no errors. Now let me go back here, refresh it, and okay, error. Not expected, let's see. Why target property method through an error during provision only cannot read property of undefined. Uh, it is not able to read edges. Why? So this is node ID. Then I'm having name value. Then I'm having contact. Okay, then edge again, node, field name, and uh, value. Mm, so the query, actually it looks fine to me. Let me try to deploy the previous query first and make sure I'm not having any discrepancy there. Uh, so account, okay. So I'm just getting list of account, right? ID and name. Okay. Refresh. Okay, I think in in my previous code where I'm just getting accounts, uh, I think this is due to, oh, my bad, sorry. So here we changed it to previously to contact, but this time we missed to change it. I think this could be the only reason of it. I should have copied the whole thing, guys, sorry. Refresh, now if it is going to work, I'll just undo the stuff and uh, yeah working so I'll again do oh, can I do undo I think yes I can no it is no 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 I don't want to go that further
okay let it be like it just tell the base query account id name i'll quickly add contacts now as i'm adding a new object i need to add the proper nodes and uh, edges so these are my edges node and here i will add the last name and value of it save it quickly deploy it now this time i should not be having any error here okay i will deploy it and uh, let's refresh the page okay so finally we are having the result here now here if you will see let me just quickly copy it from here to here so here if you will see you are getting contacts as well like first you are getting id name and uh, then you are having contacts and in contact also you are getting last name so this is the same thing what you will be getting by select id name select last name from contacts <coughs> From account so this is the same way you will be what you will be getting using this query the same thing you are getting with that uh, GraphQL query okay so that was the example of having the parent to child query so the same way you just needs to have the proper uh, edges and nodes uh, make sure you're having everything align each curly braces and all the round brackets because the syntax is little uh, hmm, little tricky to understand I would say so make sure you are having proper syntax and uh, proper commands there to get the result. So as always, I'll be having the complete code on my blog, which is salesforcefold.com. If you need the complete code, you can directly visit my blog and get it. So that it is for today, guys. If you like today's video, a subscribe to the channel will be awesome. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.